Hello, welcome back to you guys another TF2 tutorial video and this one is going to be showing you guys how to basically get your own server up and running or at least how to make it to where people can join your server. Um, as you can see you have Steam CMD here. There are two methods to doing this. There's Steam CMD and the other method that I'm going to show later. Uh, right now I'm just going to show the source dedicated server method. So you're going to want to locate where your folder is. In this case it's for me, Steam CFD, uh, CMD, excuse me, and then uh, then you're gonna want to locate your start.bat. This whole thing is a little complicated to get up and running, so I'm gonna link it to a video instead because I don't want to have to go through all the process of you know doing that and waiting for everything to get up. So, but yeah, then you're gonna want to right click on start.bat, open up edit, and a lot of these options there. This one's not important. These are. Again, the link to the video will be in the description, but this one, this is the most important. Enable fake IP, dash enable fake, fake IP to be more specific. What this does is it connects to Valve servers, which are already open ports so people can connect to them. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how this works. So I'm going to stop here because if it'll show my actual IP address if I do open it up. So... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the actual important thing. Okay, so now that we are where we are, it should, as you can see, the fake IP allocation has been succeeded. And this is more important. And I would like to um, actually, you know, um, go into the game while recording, but it'll lag if I do that with OBS specifically. So I'm going to pretty much record it separately on its own, like, separate video. And I'm going to commentate over that so that you guys will know uh, exactly what is going on. So I'll see you guys in a uh, in a moment. This is like my third or fourth time re-recording this. Um, the first time, like parts two and three were a little... Well, no, part two, it ran flawlessly, but the, uh, micro, the mic quality was garbage for some reason. The third part just corrupted... But here I am showing that my server is in the server browser. For me, at least on like the LAN part and connect, control C, control V, the fake IP or whatever. And just give it a moment. And yeah, as you can see, it is connecting. It says VAC secure right there. My cursor wasn't showing up, but I am connecting. But yeah, as you can see, it is working, and let me just skip ahead here. Um, I'm showing off that I am the admin, that these, that these, that I do have access to these admin commands, yada yada, all that, all that fucking bullshit. Oh uh, man, I'm starting to go fucking crazy with the amount of times I had to re-record this section. But yeah, um, this is me just showing it off, messing around. The slap command and uh, me showing off that <clears throat> you know that I can that I can equip the uh, robots cosmetics that they that only they have in this mode and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in a quick moment I'm going to go and re-record the third part live here all right so here I am again on the third part <laughs> uh, it's a lot more simple than the Steam C and D thing. So what you want to do is you want to right click TF2 properties in your launch options here. A lot of this stuff isn't important, but uh, if I go over here, enable fake IP, put this in your launch options the exact same way. It should work exactly the same. You just got to open up the console to see it. And uh, the first time you connect, it won't show the, um, it won't connect to the ion servers, but there is a workaround for this, so I'm just going to open up a fucking text document. And if I maximize it, you type in connect x uh, semicolon disconnect. And then you type in map insert map name here. That's pretty much how you do it. <clears throat> It'll connect to the item servers immediately after you type this in. And obviously don't put this in, just put where the map name is without the parentheses, like a map ctf underscore 24 or, or um, 
<clears throat> or MVM underscore Cold Town, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.